Hi, I'm Sai Priya, a senior cloud engineer from the innovation team. Let's talk about deploying an application on Doki using Jenkins Agent. We are going to divide the demonstration into two parts. The first part focuses on setting up Jenkins master or slave nodes using OCI. The second part will be deploying Node.js application onto OKE using Jenkins Agent. Firstly, log into Oracle Cloud Console and click on the navigation on the top left. Select Compute and then Instances. Create a Compute Instance. Enter the name and make sure you select the right compartment. For the purpose of this demonstration, I am going to leave the default image and shape as is. Go ahead and create a new VCN. Update the name and submit. You can either download the SSH keys from the console or upload an existing key. Go ahead and create the instance. Once the instance gets provisioned, copy the public IP address and then SSH into the instance using the terminal. Make sure you have applied chmod600 to the private key before performing the step. After SSH, perform the yum update. After the update is complete, install Java by typing in sudo yum hyphen y install Java. Next, we will install Jenkins, for which you first need to configure yum by adding the Jenkins repository and then import repository jpg key. Go ahead and install OpenJDK and then install Jenkins using yum. You also need to add Jenkins service to run with firewall and add its exception so that it is available to access from outside world. Reload the firewall service for the changes to apply. Now, list all the active firewall rules in your virtual machine. Switch to the console and select the VCN connected to the compute instance. Go to the subnets and then switch to the ingress rules section. Now. Open the port number 8080 for all the IPs. Check the status of Jenkins. If it's an active state, try loading the IP followed by port number 8080 to access the Jenkins console in the web browser. Firstly, unlock Jenkins admin password. Copy the file path and check the contents of the file in the terminal. Copy the initial password. Now paste the password in the console. Go ahead and install the suggested plugins. Create your first admin username and password. Leave the Jenkins URL as is and hit the save and finish button. You can go ahead and start using Jenkins. The next step is to install plugins. Go ahead and select the Docker and Oracle Cloud compute from your available plugins and then add a new cloud. The Compute plugin will allow you to run the dynamic slaves in the OCI Compute environment. Give it a name and add credentials. Select the global credentials as a domain and kind as OCI credentials. Copy the tenancy OCI ID under the tenant ID and region ID where you want to deploy the agent. You can either download the OCI public and private keys and generate a fingerprint Otherwise, copy and reuse the existing fingerprint. Switch to the OCI console and copy the user OCI ID. Give the name of the ID as Jenkins slave and a description. Go ahead and verify the credentials. The credentials do not work. So the reason is I haven't added the API key. I will now go ahead and copy the contents of OCI API key.pem and paste it here in the Jenkins console. You are now successfully connected to the OCI compute. Next, let's configure instance template. This list of templates are used to create instances to be launched as agents. Give instance template description, label as Jenkins slave and select the compartment. Now, select the image as Linux cloud developer image and shape as VM standard 2.1. Select the VCN and subnet which we configured in the previous step. Add the SSH credentials. Select the kind as SSH username and private key. Add the identifier for SSH credentials. Username as OPC 
and paste the contents of the private key from id underscore rsa. Click add button and save the changes. After you SSH into the Jenkins instance, you will observe that the git is not installed. Therefore, we will perform yum install git. Alright, now that we have installed and configured Jenkins and its agents, we will then proceed to the second and most important part of the demo, that is to deploy the Node.js application onto OKE instance. We are going to deploy a simple Node.js application which displays a web page. The app.js file contains the code to retrieve the index.html file when the page is loaded. The index.html contains the HTML content of the web page. The podman build builds an image using the instructions from the container file specified in the build context directory. We also do have OCI config file with the user OSIT, fingerprint, OCI private key file path, tenancy ID and the region ID. Let's take a look at YAML file that specifies the configuration for a deployment object that is defined in the spec.template section. Here, we are also deploying a load balancer service to expose the web page to the internet in the specified port number. The podman provides a lightweight utility to run and manage the open container initiative compatible containers. Podman is treated as a drop-in replacement for the Docker and is already available in the Linux cloud developer image. We will be using the podman commands to build and push the containerized images onto Oracle Container Registry. After which, we will be configuring the OCI config file which we created in the previous step. Go ahead and also save the OCI API key.pem and make sure you apply chmod600 permissions to it. The next step is to install and configure kubectl. Create kubeconfig file, for which switch to the OKE console to copy these commands from the quick start guide. Next, create a secret. Apply the Node.js app.yaml in order to apply the deployment and also the load balancer service. Open the Jenkins console and create a job. Enter the job name as sample OKE Jenkins. Specify the label Jenkins Slay under the restrict where this project can run section. Paste the repository URL under the git and select the credentials. Paste the execute shell script and save the changes. The final step is to test the deployment. Once you hit the build now button, you will notice that there is a Jenkins agent that has been spun up on the OCI compute console. After the deployment is successful, you can verify the status using the cloud shell. Type kubectl get svc to get the list of services being deployed. Also, you can verify the pods being deployed using the kubectl get pods command. And kubectl describe pods followed by the pod name for the detailed description of a given pod. Open the load balancer on OCI and copy the IP address and test it on a web browser. The web page is deployed successfully.